When you film or edit interviews or any video where the subject talks to the camera, such as this one, sometimes you need to sometimes you need to cut parts out. But when you do, you're left with a bunch of jump cuts that look like this. Today, I'm going to show you three ways to hide these jump cuts when editing your video. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel for another Final Cut Pro tutorial. First, let's take a look at the flow transition built right into Final Cut Pro. If your subject doesn't move much during the cut, this can work amazingly well. First, adjust your in and out points of your clips until the framing of your subject is as close as possible from one clip to the next. Now open the Transitions browser, select the Dissolves category, and apply the flow transition to your cut. Final Cut Pro will analyze your clips and do its best to smooth out the cut. This is what our cut looked like before, and this is our cut after applying the flow transition. Your next option for hiding the jump cuts in your project is by changing the size of your clip. If you have the extra resolution to work with, this can be a very useful method. What you need to do is either select the clip before your cut or after the cut and resize it. With your clip selected, either hit the transform button and use the wireframe in the viewer or use the scale slider in the inspector to resize your clip. This added will hide the jump cut in your project and make it appear to switch between camera angles, much less jarring than a plain old jump cut. The third way to hide a jump cut in your edit is by either switching to some b-roll footage or if you filmed with more than one camera, switching camera angles. If you shot some b-roll that pertains to what your subject is talking about, placing it over the cut can be a great way to hide it. For example, if the subject is talking about the latest phone in the video, a cutaway to some footage of the phone itself can be a great way to hide it. Simply select the b-roll footage in the browser, set your playhead before the cut, and press Q to connect edit the b-roll to your timeline. If your connected clip has audio, make sure to turn it down. You may also want to play around with the timing just to make this edit flow naturally. If you filmed your interview with more than one camera, cutting between camera angles can also be an effective way to hide your cut. Select your two or more clips in the browser and synchronize them by command clicking any selected clip and choosing synchronize clips. Select use audio for synchronization and make sure the disable audio components checkbox is not selected. Add your synchronized compound clip to your project, double click it in the timeline to open it and disable the audio of one of the clips. Next, edit your compound clip just like you would any other clip. To switch your alternate camera angle at the jump cut, double click on your compound clip, select your top clip and press V to disable it. Press the back button to go back to your project. You can switch back to your original camera angle at your next cut by re-enabling the top clip and your compound clip. So now, instead of distracting jump cuts, you have something that looks like this. Try one or a combination of any of these methods in your next project. And remember, unless the cut is intentional, the best cut is the cut that your audience doesn't notice at all, so choose wisely. I want to hear from you guys in the comments below what method you use to hide your unintentional cuts. Are you using one of the methods I talked about, or do you have a better way? Let me know. And if you're new here, check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. New videos uploaded weekly, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.